Everyone shut up and listen. It's a very important message. This is our R33 GTR. It's red. Everything's red around here. We got it back today. We got it back just now. It's Tuesday. We just took it off the trailer. We've reversed it from there to here. And by reverse, I mean pushed it. We've taken the wheels off. We've dropped the subframes out. All right? First up on the list of things to do because the thing that we're about to do requires everything to be out of it. So we've got to do that first. Otherwise, if we did that last, it'd be very silly, wouldn't it, Daniel? We are wrapped aligning the entire of the underbody of this car, the exact same as we did that little puppy over there that Daniel's still working on the minicooler piping for. We're doing the exact same process on that, on this. Uh, this one's a lot cleaner, so it's not going to take as long. So that's the first cab off the ranks, and then we get to tick it off once it's done. Somewhere on here, hopefully it says it. If it doesn't, I'll write it up there, and then we'll tick it off so we feel like we've done something productive. We are expecting a big lot of parts to turn up tomorrow. And then once we got all the parts here, we're gonna sit all our parts in front of it, go through what we've got, the whole sort of rundown, the plan, the, the, the bones of the build, we'll go through that with you guys. Uh, we've got some pretty cool parts coming from a lot of cool companies, so pretty excited to smash them all together and use them. Daniel's having a sip of blue lemonade and pretending to lick a, oh yeah. Oh, that disappeared quickly. That wasn't a sip, was it? That was a guzzle. We're gonna get it prepped and then we're gonna spray it. So we're gonna do that now, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Uh, what do you know? Nothing like that. Just don't watch your eyeballs for a second. So say the sun's coming in there and I've got just falling down here. Yeah. Yeah, spray, huh? Feel like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan? Yeah. Kick it. Yeah. There you go, mate. Yeah. This... Oh, you got this. <laughs> Too many jobs. <laughs> Some sandwich would be pretty Some good. Sandwich. Yeah, it's nice. That'll <laughs> I'm strong. I'm strong. <laughs> Street race solution. That's us. Oh, get a screw gun. Get a screw gun. Screw gun. Get a screw gun. Nice boxer. Hey, no wonder why I got so much. Look how many screws he is. George, look in there. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a well put together box. Not wrong. Oh! Yeah! Wow! Put this for Sam. He's a dog. <laughs> That's sexy, eh? It bolts to the man. What'd you say? You did. I heard you talking about stuff. Though. About what? Things. Take a photo now. That's what you want to see every day. You go fast juice. You want to see it in there, dude? Ooh. Good beef, that guy. Bought one in today with me <laughs> from home, you know? This is my perso. Lock it in, Eddie. She ain't going anywhere. A bottle in the back, that is. No engine yet, but we've got the no nice bottle. No engine? Why would you need an engine? <laughs> Put the nice bottle in. Exactly. 30 months. That's nuts. 
What do you mean you don't have to maintenance this battery? Don't you normally get your battery serviced every like couple k's? Yeah, every couple. Yeah, you have to top up the oil and <laughs> Right there. It's a supercharger. If I've ever seen a supercharger. <laughs> Do you reckon you need that in a Supra? Like, would it be a Supra, Supra, Supercharged Supra? Yeah. Welcome to Sam Poff. Who's that? Comes through my door. No one? No one? Three litre billet here, and I'm just starting to get all the accessories put on it so that we can put it in the car and start doing the fab work for it. So, uh, we got the PRP Pro Series crank trigger kit, and then we got the PRP Pro Series cam trigger kit and the mechanical fuel pump kit. So, we've got the cam trigger on one side on one cam and then you've got the fuel pump on the other cam so um i can't put that on yet because i'm just waiting for the prp stuff to turn up or the other the rest of the prp stuff we got a heap of it turn up but there's still a little bit that we're waiting for so i'm waiting for the um they make a timing mark backing plate which has to go on before the cam gears and then the cam gears have to go on before all the trigger kit stuff so i'm just waiting on that once that stuff turns up i'm gonna time it and then put all the trigger kits on and we're also the sump the prp uh, Dally's billet dry sump um, is turning up with that same order as well as the rocket covers so once we get a, a big parts delivery again we've already had a heap of stuff turn up but once we get another load of it all turn up we'll get this stuff on the engine and then we'll go from there um, on top of that we've got the gearbox pulled apart at the moment to make some modifications to it and uh, I don't remember why. Uh, make some so it had a long tail shaft, a long output shaft, and we need the stubby output shaft to work with the PRP kit. So pretty much that's what we're doing. Um, we had Michael O'Reilly come around earlier, and he pulled it apart for us. Now it's all over the place, but pulled it apart. So I'm going to put it back together with the rest of the PRP stuff, so that we can dummy it up in the car, and we can start the fab work and get the fab work going on the car over the weekend, so that we get a good kick start for next week. <laughs> We're gonna start with Daniel. What are you doing? Stay in there, show us your snazz ass. Get back in there. Fun. We're making slow progress on the GTR, so what have we got going on here? Oh, okay, oh, slow <laughs> progress. Essentially, <laughs> an adapter plate, an adapter plate for a shifter. That's nice. Yeah, thank that you. That's really good. Yeah. Looks so, like you're making some slow progress. Very slow progress. Perfect. Yeah. Also, we've got the engine in the car. So here's the GTR, little update. I got very distracted. I said I was gonna film things to make it easier for George so that you guys got to see it all, but George didn't have to be there because George was busy, and uh, I didn't. I didn't do any of that. Got very distracted from the last clip, as you can see, and the engine's now in the car. So, uh, quick, little, quick little recap of where we're at. Got the entire PRP catalog on this thing. Um, we got the PRP IGNs, coil kit, trigger kit, mechanical fuel pump, uh, Daly's dry sump, which also comes from PRP or PRP Supply. Uh, it's a full integrated dry sump kit, so all the scavenge lines are integrated into the billet sump. It's a lot cleaner, a lot less lines, really cool, lots of billet. The billet diff, the quaif diff center is in there. We've got manifolds slung off of it. We've also got a PRP power glide transfer case adapter kit bolted together. So we do actually have the power glide sitting in there at the moment with the transfer case bolted onto it. It's not like a super easy slap together kit, but for the most part, it's pretty good. It's pretty, no. for the most part, it works very well. For the level of difficulty of the thing that you're actually doing, it works very well. Um, we're also sort of working back and forward with PRP, sort of giving them some feedback, how the kit sort of goes together and uh, what could be better, what could be, what's really good, what could be better, stuff like that. I just said the same thing twice, not the point. It's in the car. It still has to come out of the car again because we had to make some modifications to the gearbox. We also are waiting for a couple parts for the gearbox. So for the meantime, everything's mounted and the whole purpose of getting it mounted with the gearbox in there is so now Daniel can start the fab work. So you're gonna be busy. Yeah, he's gonna be a busy boy. Top of that, I can also start wiring this thing. So it's getting a Nexus R5, uh, every, you don't want that. Yeah, Nexus R5, every sensor under the sun. Um, 
12 injectors, IGN coils, EGTs, all the all the business, IC7 dash, keypad, everything. That's the board. There's a lot more green on there now than there was the other day. We've got a big parts. A lot of parts have come in. Are you getting some green on my side over here? Yeah, a lot of that side. Yeah, what have we got going on here? Not much, not much is green going on here, eh? Yeah, that is. That's all green. Yeah, that's better. Well, that's written in green. So we wrapped it the underside. Last time we spoke, we wrapped it the underside. All the subframes have been reconditioned, painted, cleaned up, put back in. Suspension's all back in. We got some new arms, new adjustable arms in the front. But the chassis side of the car is pretty close to being done. Pretty much just brakes. It's a couple brake lines, stuff like that, just to button it up. Cooler mounted in the front here, so we've got a plasma man. Five and a half inch cooler as always, got the plazzy in the front. First thing you see in most cars we build, Garrett GDX50 on the side. We've got a Hypertune dual rail on this side. Usually we would go for a plasma man, but we couldn't get one in time. And we also had this already from Stewie's engine that is gonna get finished one day, but it's still a perfect manifold, it's still really good. It's just not, yeah, it doesn't say plasma man. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, dry sump tank. Dry sump tank's in. Sump Done something a little bit different on this car. Normally we mount the dry sump tanks in the back because we use the big, big capacity ones. 11 litres or something like that. Because of the drifting, we got a lot of G-forces on the car, not just forward and back. We've got a lot of... My name's Daniel John Weiss. I'm a poofter. We've gone for the lower capacity tank, which I think is still like 7 litres or something like that. 7 or 8 litres, which has allowed us to put it up the front, which means we don't have to run dash 16 lines to the boot of the car which does save like two thousand dollars worth of hose and fittings that's not really necessary so ew. it looks like a like a little snail yeah that's nice but anyway that's the update that's where we're going that's where we're headed that's the direction probably the end of the video george says end of part one see you in part two yeah monday third of july car's got to be ready for the 22nd well, in the turn the 22nd of july it's got to be in sydney uh so yeah third of july 3rd of July, car doesn't run, but car has an engine in it. And that's a lot better than the last update 49. I gave you. They've got a car with an engine in it, so We're that's pretty good. good. Progress, mm -hmm. really. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think so. Okay, thank you. Love you, see you, bye. See you on the next one. Enjoy. Bye. Look at these guys. Yeah, that's what I would have done. <laughs> Say something useful. I'm nervous. Well, what can he fix? I can fix everything. Well...